Hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. And Uber and Lyft both released their quarter one earnings report and it is going to affect drivers on both platforms. So we're gonna get right into what that means. We're gonna kind of skip some of the numbers and things like that. If you really wanna know that, go look it up. There's a lot of numbers when it comes down to it. But let's primarily focus on how this is going to affect both Uber and Lyft drivers. Now let's take a look at Uber first. More drivers choose Uber over Lyft. And one of the biggest reasons why recently was because the amount of driver incentives that Uber has been offering over the last several months. And it has driven drivers to sign on to Uber and use Uber much more. But in the Q1 wrap up, they had announced that they are going to scale back driver incentives. So that means if you are receiving good driver incentives currently, you might not be seeing them or they might get much lower, which is kind of strange because right now, if you go online in certain markets like mine in Buffalo, usually you're going to see more surge in more areas often because there are less drivers on the road. There's less drivers because of many different factors. One, the pandemic, two, gas prices, three, people have moved on to other platforms. There's a huge competition of gig apps out there. What one are you going to be driving for? Are you still doing Uber and Lyft only or have you ventured or have you gotten a new job? So there's a lot that Uber has to compete for when it comes to drivers. Scaling back driver incentives does not really make sense, but it's understandable when you've put so much in to try to bring drivers back. The only thing is, if you scale it back, are they going to stay or are they going to move elsewhere? Now, this is a perfect segue to the Show Me The Money Club that is a live stream by myself and Sergio, another Rideshare Guy contributor, every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. So make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified when we go live and also all of our great videos. And with show me the money, you kind of want to know where's the money going to be if Uber scales back the driver incentives? Well, this brings in Lyft. Lyft had their Q1 earnings report the day before on Tuesday, and they said something a little bit different, that they're lacking drivers and that they're going to focus more driver incentives out on the Lyft platform in Q2, which is right now. So my question to you is, are you starting to see Lyft add driver incentives? And if you are primarily an Uber driver over Lyft or favor Uber over Lyft, if Uber scales back its driver incentives and Lyft increases its driver incentives, will you kind of switch? Will you primarily want to drive for Lyft? Or will you just go on both platforms and see which one is offering what at the time and make your decisions based then? What are you gonna do? Comment below and let us know. So now my key takeaway from both of this is drive where the money's at. So if Lyft is going to offer higher driver incentives to bring you onto the platform and keep you there, well, it might be better to drive for them over Uber. If Uber continues to have driver incentives that outpace Lyft, well, you might wanna stay on Uber, but the best thing that you can do is, again, drive for both platforms, take advantage of both companies and their offers, because that's going to give you ideally the most amount of money, the least amount of downtime, and just better earnings overall. And then on top of that, the other thing that you can do is, if you don't wanna do just rideshare, look at other apps. There's so many out there, especially new ones that are offering more incentives to bring drivers to their platform and have them try it out, test it out and see if they like it. There's several new apps out there and coming out all the time in different markets. So whatever your market might have, sign up for all of them, try it out and take advantage of those offers and incentives when they have them. Now I have a simple request for you. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure you do. Click the little subscribe button there, say subscribed, and also turn on all notifications. So during the Show Me The Money live stream, you'll be able to be notified and come in, hang out, ask questions, share your thoughts and your feedback when it comes to what topics we're talking about. And also you'll be able to see all of our great videos. One of the big things that drivers have to deal with is large expenses like gas. 
And Harry sits down with the CEO of Spring Free EV, which is coming soon, and you'll be able to actually see what EVs are like and how it could be more attainable for drivers. So make sure, again, you're subscribed. And also, for some really great content that we've already posted, check out this video right here, which is going to explain how you can earn more tips right now by doing just a few tweaks and a couple of changes. All right, drive safe, everyone.